Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to delete an index from an Elasticsearch instance, which is hosted using a Spring Data Elastic. So if you had seen my previous videos, I had created different examples based on the Spring Data Elastic implementation. So some of the viewers had requested to create a video on how to delete an index from the Spring Data Elastic. So here we go. So what I have done is I have just cloned the example one which we have done. Uh, some time ago if you see the project was created a month ago so I had created a video on Spring Data Elastic example 1 a month ago so I am just cloning this particular uh, repository and I am going to show how to delete an index so if you see here if you see the documentation I have clearly mentioned that there are three different rest endpoints uh, one is going to give all the list of users which are there just going to search all the users and return it back to the, uh, to the UI or um, the caller uh, the other one is searching by name searching by salary so I have already opened that project in IntelliJ here. So if you see here, uh, the this is the project structure. So I have a different configuration. These are the Elasticsearch configuration. There is a loader. So this is what is going to load the data into the Elasticsearch instance. So there are three rows which are getting inserted into the Elasticsearch instance, uh, into the Elasticsearch operations using the Spring Data Elastic. So and the model which we use is the users. So, and this is the index. So if you see here, the index which is right now here in this particular project is users so what we are going to do is we are going to delete this particular index so I'll show you how to do that so let's create a new rest endpoint so I'm using spring mvc4 here so I'm going to say just delete so so what we need to do is we need to uh, give a response saying whether it was deleted or not so I'm going to say delete so in this case we cannot use the repository because this repository is tied up with an entity so if you go to this particular users repository if you see here this particular rep repository is tied up with the users entity however we are going to delete this users index altogether so we cannot use that uh, using the we cannot do that using the repository itself so in that case we are going to use the elastic search template so like how uh, spring mbc provides the rest template right so there is something called elastic search template so if you see here there is an elastic template so if you see here spring provides this particular template and using this template we can delete the index okay so i just created something called template so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do, do a template dot so these are the different um, options provided by the elastic search template so if you see here delete delete index delete you can provide the index name uh, uh, along with the ID type and IDs. You can provide the class name itself. You can provide the delete queries. Uh, you can specifically delete a particular row or um, data inside that index or you can even create the index. If you see here, you can create the index. You can put mappings. All these you can do. Okay. So you can check the documentation or you can even play around with it. Uh, but for now, I'll show you how to delete. You, you can just pass the... So you are, you are going to call the delete index and you can pass the entity. So users dot class that's what I'm going to pass so if you see here users is nothing but the document entity where we have marked it as an index so we are going to delete that particular entity that particular index so that is what we are going to see here so I'm just doing a call to the Elasticsearch template with a delete index that's it so let me start this particular server so before that I will change a port number so I think I have other projects running in another port so I'll create uh, 8802. Okay, so I'll just start the Elasticsearch instance so that we can see how it is deleted or not, whether it is getting deleted or not, or how uh, Spring Data Elastic is behaving. So you, you can even create an index using the uh, template if you had seen the different methods right which were there inside the Elasticsearch template you can even create it create the index from here without even having to use the uh, startup time to load or create the index in the loaders if you see in the loaders we were using the operations and that is where we were creating the indexes right we were doing a put mapping to create the index but that's not required here so we can uh, do that at runtime using the elastic search template so it is similar to the uh, rest template so using the rest template we call rest uh, methods or rest um, endpoints right so same way you can use the elastic search template to 
create or delete indexes so the application is up so let me hit the so the endpoints which we have are rest search all so i'm going to first hit the rest search all so this is going to return me all the users which are there currently in that particular index so the next rest endpoint which we are going to call is the delete so we wanted to delete right so i'm going to say delete so the delete is going to return us true or false whether it has got deleted or not so what we are going to do is we are going to delete that particular index so all these data will not be there so basically nothing should be there okay so we got a true if you see here the response we got is true okay so if i hit the delete again what happens is going to be return me false so basically it says that it couldn't find the index and i i didn't delete anything so that is what is happening so let's hit the search all again so if you see here we are getting an internal exception server exception saying no such index so the index which we created when we started the process uh, which is the users index has got deleted when we did the elastic search template dot delete index and now when we queried again because since we were using the repository right so if you see here the rest slash all is using the users repository so when we did the users repository dot find all this is throwing an exception saying the user index is not found so that is why we are getting that particular exception here no such index exception so this is how you delete an index so there are uh, similar methods inside the rest template inside the elastic search template sorry so you can take a look at that and let me know if you need any other help i can create some more videos based on your feedback uh, that's it for this particular video thank you very much